Okay, you can see I've got laid out here the lugs I've been using for the past two to three years. It's the Ethos Pro range. Um, as you can see, I use quite a lot and it's been used and abused. It's been dragged in and out of my van, up and down the bank, on and off boats in Ireland. Um, every piece of luggage has its purpose and I'd just like to take you through each piece and what I use it for. Okay, this piece here, this is Ethos Pro triple net bag. Brilliant piece of kit. Um, I mean, I can think back to travelling years ago with the nets in the back of the car, in the vans, the smell, the stink, where they were just chucked in the side of your net bag. Now, with these on the market, and when this come out, it's just changed the old ball game. It's just sealed round, all the water's contained in there. You never get any wet bits in the car. Um, the smell's contained, and it's, it's just awesome. It's a real, well, it's a bit of kit that I think I couldn't do without. Um, and especially in the van, when before I was using um, a sealed unit like this, it used to drip out onto the uh, flooring where I've got uh, some ply in, and it had just, just absolutely ruined the ply. I have to keep changing it each year, but with this, no problem at all. Um, inside, the latest addition to my luggage, I'll show you, is the new drip dry bag. Now, if I just pull this out, it's awesome. This material is a rubberized square mesh. Um, obviously, being rubberized doesn't soak up the water, and I can just lift it out dip it into the dipping tanks at the commercial that you're at, lift it out, the water drips out of it, I can leave it by my van while we're doing the draw, come back and all the water's dripped away. And it's at the actual nets in there, the air's getting to them all the time. And then just get to the bank, lay them out, and then like most matches, 50 minutes before the start, put your nets in. But what, another thing, it's a triple net bag, but I could probably put four nets in there that will fit into that. And also you can see here I've got, well I've got one set up, I carry about five landing nets, and that might be a lot of landing nets to carry. One I carry a double of one I use the most, because it's, when you're fishing in that different situation, you could easily rip your mesh, you could, you could have an accident, you've got a spare to put on. But with different commercials and different places that I go to, I might be on a silverfish match, where I need a small net, where I might need just a, a fine, fine mesh net. Or I could be on a lake that's full of great big carp and I need a big landing net. And all right, a lot of people maybe carry just one or two landing heads. I like to carry a range of them because also the smaller landing net I can use, the quicker it is I can, I can manoeuvre it. And so although it sounds silly carrying a lot of landing nets, they all have the purpose. It's just a little tip I thought I'd share with you that I always carry more than one landing net. One if in case I abuse one and then others for different situations like I've just shown you. Very simple and very easy. It doesn't add a lot of weight to your tackle at all. But this piece of kit is awesome. And accompanied with this, this latest edition, I think, well, I don't think there's nothing better on the market. This piece of kit, this tidies everything up. This is the Ethos Pro Jumbo Roller Accessory Bag. Um, it was a pain, I was carrying two or three rollers. I've got some other bits and pieces that I've put in here, but it was just awkward. You've got bits and pieces scattered everywhere, and this seems to just tidy it up and keeps it all in one, uh, one hold all. I've got in here, I've got two rollers. I sometimes carry three. I've got my uh, roller extension legs, and I carry near my uh, keen accessory bar. Um, brilliant bit of kit, but just keeps everything in one bag. Okay, let's open her up. Just show you what it's like inside. So it's two compartment, but obviously lies flat together. And zip it all the way around. This side I've still got a roller and I've got my four roller extension legs to take it higher brilliant piece of kit but it all keeps it together so I can take a roller out of that side I've got my legs in there instead before where I had the roller in the bag because they come in a bag but I had my legs separate and 
it's easy to leave something behind or leave something in the van. And especially in Ireland, it's very easy to leave one bit of kit in the van and when you get on the island, if you're going by boats, there's no coming back for it. So that side I've got a roller, this side I've got a roller and I've taken out my set of extension legs but also I've put in here, like keeping the other side, two, two sets in the other side, I've got my bump bar. So it's not just a roller bag, you can put as much as you can fit in it and you, you, as you can see you can fit a lot more and it keeps it all tidy in one bag. Brilliant bit of kit, very simple and keeps everything tidy together. Okay, here I've got in front of you just my bait preparation kit. Uh, I use this for all um, aspects of my fishing where the bait's concerned. Um, this here is a big 44 litre EVA bag. In there I've got a couple of ground bait bowls, small EVA ground bait bowls. I've got a riddle in there and then I've got all my commercial ground baits, pellets and I've got the same one I keep at home that if I'm fishing on the rivers or canals I just swap it where I've got my natural ground baits. Uh, this is my cool bag. Uh, I've got two cool bags in fact. <laughs> I do love my luggage but this is the one I use in Ireland uh, and mainly on the commercials where I've got a separate top to it, clear see-through top where I keep a few bits and pieces in and then if I'm using it in Ireland I keep all my catapults all my hook boxes and that that I take out, walk out, because in Ireland you're fishing out on platforms away from the bank. And I'll just carry that, it unclips, I'll show you how that works in a minute. And I'll just carry that out with my catapults and bits and pieces that I'm taking out from my other pieces of luggage to use when I'm out, waded out in the water on my platform. And then next to it is just simply a bucket that I use for mixing up my ground baits. A matrix bucket with a small inner bucket, nice lid to keep it dry and the riddle that comes out there, which I'll show you, will fit on top of that. But three pieces that just cover all aspects of my bait preparation and needs when I'm out on the bank, whatever venue. OK, this is just my... Well, it's the Ethos Pro 65 litre carryall, but it's just a standard carryall that's been used since years, year dot. I mean, that there, originally designed just to put your keep net in where now we have our stink bags for our keep nets. But I love this because I can put my side tray in there, I can put some spare ground bait bowl attachments that go on my box. I've got all my bits and pieces that I carry inside the main compartment. I've got the two outside pockets where I carry scissors, leg extensions. I have an inner zip compartment that runs alongside the outside pocket that I throw spare elastics in, a couple of short bank sticks, bits and pieces. Uh, it just fits all my bits and pieces that I'm not carrying in other uh, parts of my luggage. And I know it's in here, catapults, etc. Well, let's just take a look inside, but it just covers me for everything that I need. I've got my two pieces of luggage here that I use to carry rods and poles in. Um, as you can see, I've got the, the great big large Ethos Pro Holdall. There is three in the range. There's large, medium, and there's a pole holdall. But I need the large holdall because I literally carry everything. Um, I try and if I try and line it down, I still need the big holdall to fit on my kit in with all my top kits, 16 metre pole, the spare sections that I carry, and then this, the made up holdall, I carry three rods in there, although it's a two rod and I carry three rods in there and that covers most situations on most of my commercial fishing and natural venues over here. Apart from when I go to Ireland, I've got probably four or five of these with all different rods made up. Um, they're very hard wearing um, and obviously they're a full zip down on the uh, large holdall so you can get in um, you know, everything you need to. Um, well, let's take a look inside. This is inside uh, one half of the holdall. As you can see, I keep my pole and extensions of my pole in here. On the other side, or the, its brother to it, I've got my spare sections, top kits, and then I've got my two outer pockets. One smaller, I've got some bank sticks and some feeder arms in, and then the large one on the outside, I've got my umbrella, uh, my small uh, mini extensions in there, alongside with my uh, landing handle. So I know what's in each pocket, and Believe me, I filled it up. But like I say, there are 
there's a medium one and a pole one so you don't need the large one if you've got enough to fill it uh, but um, there's a pole holder there for every situation. Well there you can see I've got my two rod holder but with three rods in and that covers all my situations um, for most occasions um, on commercials over here um, and if I was going on still water, um, sorry on rivers and canals and the drains that I go on I've got a separate one of these that carries my whips and a couple of Wagner rods in. Um, obviously there's uh, a four rod um, 1.75, 1.95 in the range, but this is one I use most of the time. It's a shorter one, the 1.75, and covers all my situations. Well, that's a look at the luggage I use. As you can see, it's been well used, abused, uh, and, and it does the job. Um, brilliant luggage, and takes the test of time.